So when Jesus says that the Father gave life to the Son, at what point did he give life to the Son? Okay. Again, Will, definitions are not dead. But when we want to apply a certain thing to a certain type of being, at times the definition will not, or the application of that definition will not be the same. So then you're saying right? that this is not the inspired word of God? So, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. What I'm saying is, it's important that as Christians, we are, and, and all Christians do this by the way, right? But I don't think we articulate it. It's important to understand that we don't read everything in the, in the Bible as being literal, right? Because we had this, uh, this entire discussion like thousands of years ago in the 4th century where you had something called the Eunomian heresy. Oh, please stick to the Bible. Let me, please, please let me, let me. This is very important. Very, quick summary. We had people arguing that when we talk about God, are the things that we speak of about God from the Bible, are they either analogical to mean that they are examples only? Are they uh, um, uh, univocal to mean that they have the exact same meaning? Or are they equivocal to mean that they have no meaning whatsoever? So when, or no relation whatsoever, sorry. So when we say that God is an all-consuming fire, do, do we mean he is like an all-consuming fire, AKA analogical, uh, predication. Do we mean that he's nothing like an unconsuming fire, you uh, equivocal um, uh, predication, or do we mean that he's exactly like an unconsuming fire, univocal? Wait, 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 wait. So, to, in closing, of that heresy, we understood that when we talk about God or the things of God, they are all analogical. To mean that there's nothing that we can say about God that captures the true essence of God. So, when we read those things, we should not read them to literally mean that exactly what is being said applies to God in the same way it does to us. Okay, okay so this is there you First go. Timothy 6. Okay, so, one second, I'm sorry, responding with the Bible. One moment, one moment, one moment, one moment. So, we've, we've understood, I, 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 I will, we, no, sorry, we can talk for 10 hours if you'd like. But from the first one, we've understood that there is a way that you can say that as the Father has life, so too has He given it to the Son means that he gave the son life yes you, you agree with that in an eternal sense yes you oh how can you give something in an eternal sense what does that mean? because because again the eternal is uh when you're speaking about god is without time so the um in eternity's past uh without creation god wasn't counting seconds so, okay, what's that? What's that? Okay. So, let me just stop you. A couple of things. Okay. Angels existed before time as we know it. Do you accept that? Um, I am not. No, I think angels would count as part of the creation. No, so, okay. so let me explain. Angels why. are not outside the creation. Explain, they are outside of time, and let me explain why. Okay, fine. Okay. Let, let, so, let's see for why. example, we measure time. So let me say the eternal. Let me, let me just talk, oh, please. We measure time in terms of Earth's relation to the sun. Okay, let me explain why. We understand, understand terms day, year, based on Earth's relationship to the sun. So for example, I think the sun rotates, the Earth rotates around the sun. Don't become Shamsi, by the way. 365 <laughs> days, six hours and, and nine minutes. Okay. So the point on the matter is, prior to the creation of the Earth, time is an anomaly. We cannot, what was it? we cannot define time. Let me just make my point. And the Bible teaches, one second, I'm going to land, that angels existed before the creation of the earth, meaning they were created before time as we know it. So, do you accept that angels existed before the creation of the earth? Okay. Do you accept that, yes or no? Um, Let's it, engage a little it, bit more. It, sure thing. Do you if that? there is a verse that talks about them pre-existing the earth, yes. sure thing. Okay. So but, but, it's important to note that there are certain, for example, like um, like church fathers have held. I think, I think, I, think Bible, I could please. be wrong. I could be wrong, right? But it could be Irenaeus, right? Held to the idea that all creation was done instantaneously by Irenaeus God. Irenaeus taught that Jesus was created. That's not true. That's not okay, true. Okay, I can prove it, but that's no. We, we need to read the whole of Irenaeus to come to that conclusion. Okay, okay? always. So let's stick, wait, let's stick, wait, okay, so wait, let's stick to my wait, wait. So, is it possible that in in a in an analogical way, 
we can potentially break down the mechanisms by which God created reality, right? Where the earth was formed on a certain day, and then the uh, stars were formed on a certain day, and then angels were formed before those two things were formed, potentially. But angels are not eternal beings. Let me let's engage. And so we'll, I don't. Let's not. Let's make this a monologue. What? Yes. No, no. Okay. You talk for a little while. Let me talk. I would say. If you have a verse for that, that is fine. But angels existing before the earth does not mean that they pre-exist creation. I didn't say that. Listen. And that's what I'm saying. Listen to the point I'm trying to make. Time is a human concept. It's a human construct. As we know, we measure time. And I say, right. unless you can talk, and even in the ancient, one second, yep. they measure time by the sun's uh, shade, they use sundials. Yeah, you know, so, so, so they second. measured the... They no, measured no, 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 the go on, you talk. Go on, talk. Now let him talk, go on. Because he just wants this to be a monologue. Go on, talk. I apologize. Okay. So Carry the on. point I'm trying to make is, the measurement of time... Just let me know when your mum is jumping. The, the no, measurement of time is based on Earth's relationship to the heavenly bodies. If angels existed before the Earth, that means they existed before time began. Because time began... Okay, so how do, you, how do you measure a day before the earth was created? Can, can I answer that one? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Okay, so what you're talking about... Do you understand the question? Yes. Uh, uh, let's see if he answers the question. Okay, so the first thing is, let's define time. Yes. Um, I've heard time being defined as change over a period. Do you disagree with that at all? I'm saying as a human concept, time as we know it, is a concept that we understand in terms of Earth's relation. That's how we, we can understand. Okay. When we use the word day, yep. 24 hours, yep. or, minute, or if I say you're 30 years old, yep. that is in direct relationship okay. towards Earth's, uh, what's the word? Rotation yep. okay. around the sun. Okay, now. So unless, unless you can give me okay. a way of describing sure. when angels were, yep created I got before you. the earth I got you. then we can okay. come to a common so, um so again i am going with the definition that time is change over a period that's number one and number two would be when we talk about the earth rotating on its axis for a day and night cycle to occur as well as it rotating around the sun in order for us to experience seasons and times we aren't uh, we are not we are not um observing time okay, let me say again uh, time was not created when we first started being able to understand the passage of of, of, uh, of times and day and night cycles we're not going anywhere, all we're anywhere. doing is when we're using like sundials in the ancient world we are simply measuring the passage of a phenomenon that we see so in that same way when you talk about the earth being made and the angels being there before there was time as soon as there was any creation, any kind of external procession from God, time also came in regards to where, that. Where, where'd you get that? Because, you get that from? because God is immutable. No, I'm asking you, where'd you get that? Theory God from? is immutable. God doesn't change. No, show me. So how do we then explain? Second, show me time. Show me that time, as we know it, as a, as a human concept, yep. existed prior to the creation of the earth. It didn't. Right. Oh, 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 sorry. Well, when you oh, sorry, are you? Do you mean the planet or reality? Because sometimes like, we, we, I say time is a human concept, right? Time okay. is a human concept. Okay. Time is so, a human concept. So we're only hold on. We're only come into existence when humans came into existence because it's a human. No, concept. not necessarily. So time not necessarily, is transcendent. Not necessarily. So we can. So if we measure the age of the Earth, yeah. Even though we didn't exist at the time of Earth, we can measure the time in which Earth has existed. Oh. Hold on one second. Prior to the creation of the Earth, yep. we cannot measure that time. That's the point I'm trying to make. It. Yeah. So I'm saying okay. angels existed before the creation of the Earth. But anyway, we're going, it's irrelevant. So, so let, this is, this, le wait, wait, sorry. To the Bible. Let me summarize very, very fast. In Genesis, doesn't it say there was nothing? Yes, okay. And nothing means nothing. Yep. No. It doesn't so mean that oh, there was there was, there, there was no creation. Show me, show me in your uh, Genesis creation where God creates angels. Show huh? me. So it it's, doesn't. It's no, 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 because because he doesn't talk about creating angels. Yeah. You can't now. You're just assuming that yeah, angels. Yeah. Because that, that's no. an argument from silence, Genesis, right? No, no, no. Because he doesn't talk about, about Genesis, making dinosaurs. Genesis makes it clear that there is nothing. There's nothing, right? So Genesis, there was no creation. Genesis is talking about the creation 
of the cosmos, the material yes, world yes, as yes. we know and it. And that's yet. when one time second, can intervene. It's not talking about the creation of seraphims. No. It's not talking about the creation of angels because that's not the material world no, no, as no, we no, know no, it. But the angels would be there with God. They, they would be a part they of the creation. They would be there with God. What, so, so when God said there was nothing, that would include the angels as well. That would include the angels. Well, They're no, part I mean, of the created no, order. Tell me what you're reading. Tell me what you're reading to explain what you're saying. Because the angels did not exist the, the ramifications. before Genesis no, 1 was I'm, say, I'm saying in Genesis, yes. Yeah, yes. it says there was nothing. No, show me I the verse can, you're talking about. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Show me the passage. It said, okay, yeah, I mean, that sure. says. Pull out, pull out, uh, pull out Genesis. That, that's fine, right? But here's the problem, right? There's a ramification with what you're doing. And this is the problem that the Muslims have theologically. If you have something existing alongside God, sans creation, without creation, then that thing now, by definition, is eternal, no, just like God. No, you see, I mean, your, your, your logic is just not really okay. clicking. Okay, show, second, show me where that, that, that's wrong. Show me that's wrong. So, here, here's like a time scale. God creates the angels. God creates the heavens and the earth. That doesn't mean that the angels are eternal, but the heavens and the earth are the point in time, one second, as we measure time. Measuring time and time existing are two different things. Yes. Time will always exist yeah. and we observe it. So, okay, so let's just let's assume time exists to angels. I don't know how they measure time. We don't know how angels measure time. In, but, in a manner the point, that suits the them. Point, exactly, so we don't know. But a point on the matter, as a human concept, this book is written to humans. Sure. So when it's talking about time, it's talking about time in a human concept. Okay. So we Change measure, over a period, we, yeah. We measure time from the period that God created the cosmos, the material world. But anyway, we're going to... No, I mean, I mean, I don't think we do that, but okay. okay. So when we say... Because how do we know when God created the material world? Well, so when we say when we say the Earth is so so years old, those are just guesstimations. Where were the where were the guesstimations? Where were huh? the guesstimations? The point of the matter is there is a measurement of time to which somebody saying the Earth existed for this amount of years. I, I don't think. Remember, we're limited and we are guessing. No problem. Yeah. Let's say even if it's six billion years or six thousand years, the pro yeah. the point I'm trying to make is. There is a measurement of time. But don't complain. One second, things. when we say six billion years or six thousand right. years, we are talking about in terms of Earth's rotation around the sun because that's how we define a year. And without the Earth, I'm saying we cannot define what time is. And the Bible explicitly teaches angels existed before the creation of the Earth. Okay. How hard is that? Okay. So I understand. Do you understand my position? Okay. Right, listen, forget let's so, let's so, not stop spinning wheels. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. So, again, to summarize your position, right? You're saying that the understanding or the measurement of the passage of time is dependent the upon the, the earth being being there, yes. humans being on it, no, I never said, and then no, being never, able to observe. I never, said that. I never said that. I never said that. So if you I never okay. said that, now you you're, Okay, fine. So, so let, let him clear up. Let in, him clear up. I said the measurement of time starts from the creation of the earth. Who's measuring it when the earth created it? Say that again? Who's measuring it when the I'm earth saying, created it? The point I'm trying to make, when we say the See, earth... See, that's the issue. No, you're not listening. There's no one there to measure it when the earth created the point, it first. The point I'm trying to make is, hypothetically, if we can measure the, the, the age of the earth, the age of the earth, and, and, and some people do... No, no, we guess, we can't. Well, it's a guess. Okay. So the point of the matter is, there, there is an actual Okay. Age of the Earth. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah, whether okay. we know or don't know, there is an actual age of the okay. Earth. Okay. It's whether six billion years or six thousand years, whatever you want All to right. say. The point of the there is a finite amount of time that the Earth existed, okay. and we measure that time based on Earth's rotation around the Sun. Okay. That's the point I'm trying to make. Okay. So my my closing on this, my closing on this is simple. Um, time is something that's transcendent, very similar to numbers. In the advent of creation, we had time and we had numbers, despite there not being human beings there at the very instantaneous uh, occurrence of creation to measure them. These things are transcendent because they go beyond our reality and our ability to perceive. Numbers weren't made when human beings started counting, they were already there. Uh, the I really same, same thing with time. Same thing with time. Anyway. Okay, so now, anyway, so what, what, what's your Timothy, point as to why, Timothy, why God can be... First uh, Timothy 3, 6... Uh, three, hold on, hold on, hold on. First I, Timothy I, I, 6, I didn't, I didn't stop him from interrupting you. Okay, go on, go on. Go on, do you want to... Well, actually, go ahead and read the Genesis if you want. Oh, you want me to read Genesis? Yeah. No, let's not even go there. I just want to make a point. 
First Timothy 6.13. Can you read it for me, please? First Timothy 3.16. I can bust it up. 6.13, sorry. First Timothy 6.13. First Timothy 6.13. We read the whole Bible, not just excerpts, okay? No problem, no problem. All right. Or should I read it? Yeah, go read it. Go for it if you got it. In the sight of God, who gives okay, life. So what's, what's, who's this God he's talking about? Let's finish. Let's okay, finish, finish, finish. okay. In the sight of God, who gives life to everything, and of Christ Jesus, who while testifying before Pontius Pilate made the good confession, I charge you. Okay. Do you accept that this, uh, this verse teaches that the Father, the one God, gave life to everything? according to that passage and Jesus is not so, part of that one God so Do you let's, that let's that have a look right so I'm, I'm gonna read from 11 right first Timothy 6 so, Do you accept that? but as for you oh, oh man okay. well, I'm not gonna read it in isolation no problem yep. no problem no yeah. problem no problem so so okay let's have a look right so, but as so for you from this verse okay go on but as for you oh man of God flee these things pursue righteousness godliness faith love steadfastness gentleness Fight the good fight of faith, take hold of eternal life to which you were called and about which you were made uh, the good uh, confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you in the presence of God who gives life to all things and of Jesus Christ who in his testimony before Pontius Pilate made the good confession to keep the commandments unstained and free from reproach until the um, appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ which he will display at the proper time. He is uh, the blessed and the only sovereign, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, whom no one has ever seen or can see. To him be the honor and eternal dominion. Amen. So you see here, he calls Jesus Christ the only sovereign, the King of oh kings and the Lord of lords. about the Father. No, it is. Okay, it's, let's, it's, let's, let's go slowly. We'll go slowly. Yeah? Okay. Let's, let's, so, hold on one second. Let's do slow. From first six thirteen. Let's just do it slowly. Um, sorry. Out of curiosity. Out of curiosity. Just one second. Sorry. Six thirteen. So, right here, right where it says, "I charge you, in the presence of God, Who's that who God? gives What's life." That? Wait, 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 wait. Let's do it slowly. Wait, let's do it slowly. Wait. Okay. So Who's I charge you in the presence of God. Who's that God? God the Father, Son, and Spirit. What? Who, no, 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 God again. the Father, Son, and Spirit, right? Now? Oh my who, days, it's wait, right listen, right. listen, listen. I charge you in the presence of God, who gives life to all things. And, and so that means wait, that God no, is not no, no, Jesus no, no, Christ. No, 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 no. Look, he, okay, basically, I'm charging you on two things. One is in the presence of God, and the second is of Jesus Christ, who in his testimony before Pontius Pilate made the good confession to keep the commandments unstained and free from reproach until his appearing. So I'm charging you with two things, one in front of God and one of what Christ said, right? Now, one second, can I just come in? Yep. Now, of Jesus Christ, which, which he will display at the proper time. He who is blessed and only sovereign, the he is Jesus Christ no, it's not. because it's if, 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 if I said if I said if I said um, uh, like like Let's Chris say, here the he on, will on. be Chris the reason why the reason why I say is Jesus Christ the, reason why, hold on, hold on, no, no, no. the nearest no, no. antecedent is Christ hold on, hold on. Not only the reason why I say it's Jesus Christ, he. it also gives a title that's only attributed to Jesus Christ. Yes, it does. Okay, so let me yes, break, it does. Let me break it down. So in Revelation, hold on. So in Revelation, yeah, yeah, it doesn't give the King of Kings and Lord of Lords to Jesus Christ. Okay, so let me explain. Is it yes or no? Well, let me explain. No, is it no? no. Can you yeah. give me a yes or no? I didn't explain. No, no, it's not. It's not simple. Yes. Or okay. No. I said yes and no and explain. Okay. Yeah. So it does say King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Yes. Is that attributed to Jesus? King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Yes, one hundred percent. Okay. But the difference. Is, this king person is the sovereign king. Jesus okay, is the appointed king. king. The Bible says in Acts 2.36 that, you, that uh, God made Jesus, made, appointed Jesus, both Lord and Christ, both Lord and King. So God is the sovereign king. Nobody makes the, the most high God king. Jesus was appointed to be king. Now, we know so, it's one second, one second, one second. Who alone has immortality? Jesus died, by the way. Somebody that's who, fine, only one second, one second. Where, where, where does the Bible say Jesus died only in the flesh? 
For example, in James, I mean, I, talk, I, I do believe in, this in, is in James two twenty six. If you already believe that, so why does he no, no, need to explain? No, no, he's making, he's making a distinction. Yeah. That Between Jesus the divine, was one hundred percent God yeah. and one hundred percent man. Well, fully, fully. Yeah. Where does he say he's fully okay. God? Wait, wait, wait. Before we jump no, no, around too much, just, right? No, no, no. Let's just first, okay. one second. Let's and then discuss it goes, all of so that. This bears it. This bears Pause. it. This, this, one okay. second. This bears it. Who alone has immortality? Who dwells in unapproachable light? Yep. Whom no one has ever seen yes. or can see. Yes. Now, who did John, the Revelation, the Revelator, see in? Uh, so in, in, in one second, one second, in Revelation <laughs> chapter one, from about verse thirteen, who did he see? So this saw is Jesus. talking. He saw Jesus. He describes him. He describes his eyes. He describes his. his he describes his glory. But the same Bible says, if you see Jesus, you see the full revelation of. One second. Of the one second. The point. No, this is the point I'm trying to make. If you've seen Jesus, um, so, he's not talking about Jesus, then is he? That's the point. He is. It says no he, one he's has. Confusing you, but that's fine. I'll well, no, I know. I know. It says Jesus. I'll now. No, what's it? What's it? It says, whom no one has ever seen or can see. Did John see Jesus? No, that's talking about the lights. No, did. Oh my days. He alone dwells in inapproachable light that no one has ever seen. No, no. It's whom. Do you know whom is relative to the person? It's talking. Light is not a whom. It's an. The unapproachable like light whom Hume. no one has ever seen. Whom is referring to a person. It's a relative yeah, pronoun. The, the person in the who, Greek, who is in the, looking. In the Greek, it's a relative pronoun. The person who is looking. And yes. it's whom, the person they're, talking about. they're applying the whom to this uh, person, not an it. Light is an it. Whom is a person. So one second. No, oh it's not God. referring to the light as a whom. It's saying that no one has seen. Whom? Who's this whom it's not seen? No, the, the whom applies to everyone who has not seen the approachable light. That's no, all. No. It says, whom no one has yes, seen. Yes, no, no, no one has seen it. Who is this whom no one Everybody has ever seen? Everybody in no. existence. Who is this whom? Everybody no, in existence. listen to the question. Listen to the question. Who is this whom no one has Everyone ever seen or can existence. see? There you go. No, no, no. So, wait, wait. Don't like, no, no, don't Let me finish this off. So, no, no, listen to the ultimately, question. Brother, ultimately, ultimately, the he. You see what I mean? He's running now. He's he's running. Running. The he. The nearest antecedent to the he is Jesus Christ. No problem. So, therefore, he has to be the one who is blessed no, and the only sovereign. No. The point he brought up before in Acts, that is a matter of the incarnation. In the incarnation, we've heard it all before. He made himself lower than the angels. So, in that sense, economically, Right, in terms of our role during the incarnation, we can see that he was given things, Baba. granted Baba, things, please. blessed with things, but in the divine essence, that's not the case. Baba, okay. Now, so you're just making things up, right? Now, anyway. which, what which he. That Jesus lowered himself is made up. No, no, the fact is that, that he, what you're saying. No, what he's saying, that Jesus is 100% God, is all made up. I didn't say, I said fully. Yeah, or fully God. Because, made because up. here, made up. here made we're up. seeing that he, Jesus Christ, no, okay, so listen. is the blessed, no. the only sovereign, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Whom alone, sorry, sorry uh, who alone has immortality. has immortality. Did Jesus die? Who dwells? Did Jesus die? So in the flesh, yes. Okay, no problem. Who, that means who he's alone? not immortal then. That means he's not no, immortal. He has to be. No. Nope. Be. Because, right, because the divine essence. How do you, what's immortality? So, How do you define immortality? So, immor because immortality means not subject to death. Sure. Jesus died. So only, that means he's not only in the flesh, no, but you right? Have to be ever because. Lasting. Yeah, because no, 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 no. don't no, forget. No, 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 no. Okay, immortality so, is everlasting. No, Here's it's, the not, problem, it's right? not immortality. No, means well, you're not subject to death. No, listen, That's what it simple, means. simple. If we've established no, that death, up, don't sure. that passage. Come on. If we've established you're that, bury yourself. no worries. If we've established right that according to James, death involves the separation of a of, of a soul from a body. Yeah. But we can also uh, interpret that that essentially the word of God has no soul or body. Okay, yeah. so anyway. So therefore. We, this statement second, of immortality one second, one second, still applies. One second. one second, and the only way that you can have an issue with it is if you don't understand the incarnation okay, so David, symbol. David, when it says whom, whom is referring to a person, whom no one has ever seen yes, or, or can, can see. see. Who's that? Whom is referring to? So the whom is the, are, are those who have not seen the lights. Simple, the no, unapproachable lights. No, no. Listen, listen, this guy is unbelievable. Whom, no one. Whom? Who's this whom? This one is. I've already answered this a few no, times. Who? Uh, everyone. Okay, so and let's, I, I won't say that again. Okay, let's okay? translate it. Let's translate what you're saying. It says that he is blessed, the only sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who, alone who dwells in an unapproachable light, light, and alone. everybody. What's, what's your? What's, how do you translate? And everybody and, and in the no whole world. One. And everybody in the whole world. That doesn't make Had, sense. Everybody in the. Uh, 
that everybody in the whole world has not seen or has ever seen. No, whom is one person? No, it's not. It, 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 it can be like for a group of people. David, listen. Like, like, listen. Like, 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 okay. like, look, look. Let's just argue, listen. For sake, example, let's... I can literally say, we the American people, to whom the land of uh, North America belongs. Listen, like, listen, come listen, on, man. Brother, listen, listen. listen. This, listen, even for argument's sake, I don't. It, let, you let can, just, it can be a group. That's let light. me say, for argument's sake, it's talking about Jesus. It's not yes, it unequivocally, is. but for argument's sake, let's say it's talking about Jesus. Yep. Okay. So well, this, that was about the lights. Okay. So this would be talking about whom, whom referring to Jesus. No one has ever seen no, or the can lights. see. The lights. No, 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 no not Jesus. The, the light. light is not an, a whom. Yeah, it can, it can be a light. Yes. David, come no, on, you, you understand no. English? The light is not the whom, but it's the people who have never seen. That's so what I'm whom, to. whom is the one no one has seen? So, for example, like I, like I told you, we the American people to whom the land of North America uh, belongs. That's what we mean. Oh, yo, guys, yo, guys, yo, man. listen. I, listen I, I, I am trying to guide my dear brother here. Guys, so he guys, no, 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 huh? no, look, we will have patience with David, him David, and we will David, preach to him second, until second, he becomes a Christian. One second, one second, one second. This is so clear. I mean, anybody that's watching this yep. with half a brain will get this. I'm sorry. Luckily, I have, so, I have, I have two. Listen, exactly. <laughs> you're, you're more intelligent than this. So listen, it says this. Okay. Who? Who's that who? Who's that who? Uh, who the, the, the who alone can be Jesus, yes. Okay, so who, who is alone the, is Jesus? Okay, so who is the Jesus who dwells in unapproachable light? Let's. Who? Whom, no man. Yeah. Whom is who? Who's the whom? So the whom is everyone who hasn't seen. I said it before already. Whom would, we, whom would we refer to Jesus? No, it wouldn't. No, no, wouldn't. The who was already there, and then it, the, when he uses another whom, he can point to someone else. It says, whom no one, the, everyone is the no one if you, has if, ever if, seen if or can see. Okay, so let's read it again. One second. It says, <laughs> I don't want to like harp this for too long. It says, long, which he no will display at the proper time. Remember, he this camera is an entertainment. So, one second, wait, wait, one second. Wait, one, let, me one second. Let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me. No, let, let me read it. Let, let me, let me. Because you know what you're saying is lies. No, okay. there's more points. So who so, and the whom is referring to a person? I charge you yes. in the presence of God yes. who gives life to all things so God is the subject and matter. of Jesus Christ yes, so God is the subject matter. who yes. in his testimony before Pilate yes. made the good confession yes. to keep the commandments yes. yep. until, oh, sorry, sorry, unstained and free of reproach until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so God's still the, which God he, is still the subject matter. Which yes. he will display yes, God, yep. um, at the proper time. Okay. He who is blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, whom hmm. no one has ever seen or can see, to him be the honor you, and him. eternal dominion. Amen. Okay. But the he and the him refer to the nearest antecedent, okay, no problem. which is Jesus Christ. No problem. Let's, I don't agree. So talk about and, the Father. And, and then also, uh, the, the last thing is, is that he is insistent here that, that the word whom refers to a singular person, but I am saying that he refers to the unapproachable lights. He's got, he's got a point there. No, he hasn't got a point. Listen, he doesn't... Uh, and and so he, he's saying that whom can only refer to one no, no, person. No, no. But I, I, to, I told him that you, you okay, can okay, easily listen. say, we the about. American people to whom the land no, no, of yeah. America belongs. Listen, yeah. listen to the point. He's listen, here. listen. He's, he's a neutral. No, he's a neutral. Listen, listen. Okay, fine. Listen to the point. Listen to the point I'm trying to make, please. It says this. Yes, it says, who alone has in... Okay, he who is... He who... So who's that who? Who's that who, according to you? The, Just the, 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 no, 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 we'll no, do it slowly. You say it. You say it. You, no, you're I say it's the father, you're it's saying not, it's Jesus. It's not, it's not a who, it's the he. The he is Jesus Christ. Okay. He who, it's he who, is still referring to the one person, right? Yeah. Who is the blessed on the and only sovereign, the king of kings and lord yeah? of lords. We're going. Who, still talking right. about this one person, who alone has immortality. People, we will continue next week. All right, and uh, bring all the Christianity. Um, BRB, one second, I'm right here. Well, uh, yeah, you're done, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna give a little like wrap up if you don't mind. I don't know. Uh, real quick, guys, so, talking, uh, real quick, talking with Will, same thing again. He had a problem with Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll, we'll keep praying for him. And he's going over verses that he's simply misunderstanding the meaning of. So right now we're stuck on, on uh, uh, 1 Timothy 6.13.
He's trying to say that when it talks about he who alone is sovereign, uh, he who, who dwells in the unapproachable light, King of kings, Lord of lords, that it's not talking about Jesus Christ, despite the fact that in verse 12, it literally mentions his name and then later in 13 refers to Christ as he. So therefore, all the things that are being talked about, him being the King of kings, Lord of lords, only sovereign, dwelling in unapproachable light that no one has ever seen, those things are all being ascribed to Jesus. So therefore, he has to be God. But Will doesn't like that, so he's going to carry on arguing to say that, that the word whom that is used refers to one person, when whom can refer to a number of people as well as things. So he needs to go back and, I don't know, go to an English course again. But we'll carry on next week. Yeah, well done, baby. Alright, go.